I, I want to go to another kind of um, claim that we've seen very recently, some reporting in the Wall Street Journal indicating uh, this, U.S. failed to stop attack in Jordan after mix-up over drone identity. So the argument in this Wall Street Journal piece is that we thought that the nasty drone that came in was a friendly, that we confused the nasty for the friendly. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to get a briefing soon, and I, I know you and I will be calling for one uh, in the coming days, if not the coming hours, to really get a clear sense of what did we believe the friendly was that was coming back? How would our systems have confused those? But what's your reaction to this Wall Street Journal report? Well, I absolutely don't buy it, and I'll tell you why. When we send drones out from any base, we track those. If we know that it's actually traveling at a certain speed and pace on a certain flight trajectory, then we'll know where it's coming in, and we'll actually have that highlighted red. The question I have then is, okay, let's just say that it's not a jammer system that's actually blocking communications and that it went dark on us. Then what? Is it because we prioritize? over the last few years, DEI over meritocracy. Now we're not having, you know, this is almost the airline pilot issue. Do I want the one with the most hours and the most qualified or do I want one who fits into a certain diversity and equity and inclusion bracket? That's what we're starting to have to so look at. So you think this was a, you think, and, and obviously we've got to get the brief. We don't, we, this is just speculation yeah, yeah. On, on what a multitude of different things could be. Could it be they was a jammer and it was a blackout? Could it be that there was right. a failure in our actual yeah, To be clear, to we're, we're mean, highlighting potential categories right. of activity. We, uh, we need to get that briefing. I, I would suggest that the Armed Services Committee immediately needs to get a 100%. tactical level brief on what is going on. What do you think should be the components of that brief? Well, we definitely want to see post-blast analysis. We want to see what was recovered on site, whether or not there was a jam or a communication block. Why didn't we track this further out? What was the pace and speed? What was the actual explosive that was utilized? And so I want to see a full detailed analysis because here's the whole thing. When we talk about the Lindsey Grahams of the world, so the Cornish world, hit them, hit them, hit them. The question that I ask is, is what have we done to prevent the retaliation from coming back to us? We can't do this tit for tat if we haven't even increased the protection security and identified why this happened to begin with. That's just going to enable it to happen again, and we're going to have more dead soldiers. That's not the key here. What we want to do is to prevent the loss of life, to prevent these types of kinetic activities. And so having an immediate reaction, which is emotional for a proportionate and equal response, that all sounds good, but we got to get the facts to ensure that we actually can do this in a more methodical and more carried out way. Thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you're subscribed to our channel with notifications turned on. You won't want to miss any of the breaking news.